Uh, Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration recently announced an investigation uh, from October of 2010 to December of 2012. More than 2,800 employees with recent substantiated conduct issues that resulted in disciplinary action received more than $2.8 million in bonus awards and more than 27,000 hours in time off. Among these, more than 1,100 IRS employees with substantiated federal tax compliance problems received more than $1 million uh, in cash awards with more than 10,000 hours in time off. Um, do you believe that that poor performance and especially, especially the failure to pay <laughs> taxes should be rewarded um, through bonuses to IRS employees? Uh, Congresswoman, our position is that individuals who have been found to have engaged in significant misconduct, uh, including nonpayment of taxes, should not be eligible for mm -hmm. performance awards uh, during the relevant time period. Um, the IRS has already uh, had discussions with the union. This is a collective bargaining uh, agreement, uh, this bonus program, about the eligibility standards for performance awards. And I understand that the union has agreed to work with the IRS to address this issue. So clearly this has to change. So any chance you are going to go back and collect that money that was paid if you believe it shouldn't have been given? Well, let us first make the policy uh, going forward, and then we can look at questions as to whether or not there is any retroactivity to it. Um, the, the most important thing is this, the, these bonuses were for several years ago. Mm -hmm. The question is what happens with future bonuses, and this will govern that. Um, and we have already changed the policy for things that are discretionary bonuses at executive levels so that, mm -hmm. that perform, you know, this kinds of, of, of you know, you know, performance uh, and misconduct are taken into consideration. Now it will be taken into consideration uh, for, for all bonuses. Thank you. Yield back. 